All right, so uh, this is going to be the first time that I ever critique Junior. This is, a, I think, a relatively new duck hunt that just joined the server. If not, they've been here, they've been lurking, and this is the first time they've submitted a set for me to look over. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm in for in terms of player skill level, uh, but Joker Duck Hunt, uh, you know, I think this is like one of the few matchups where you can just like kind of look at everything objectively and say Joker just kind of has the slight edge over him, mostly in terms of like comeback factor, uh, really nice, really good range that can, and like moves that are pretty effective at dealing with can. Like obviously guns are going to be a little bit annoying, um, but like that's kind of, that's like not really the worst thing in the world. It's it's a very similar situation to Bayo's, um, I forget, I, it's not Bullet Arts because I think Bullet Arts is the, is like the name of the of like the neutral b but like whatever so i'm just gonna call it bullet arts for now like when she holds out the the button and the attacks go um that one's like a little bit more annoying with dealing with can just because it lasts for a lot longer um then uh the other thing too is like of course our son's really annoying too and depending on like how the joker knows how to use her tether it can be a little bit annoying to edge guard him uh, but the good thing is it's like you can still like ledge guard him fairly easily once he gets to ledge. So that part's not as much of an issue. Um, the main thing is just like knowing how to fight him. Like in a lot of ways you treat the neutral pretty similar to Sheik in the way that you want to keep him out. Like he has the same type of low profiling. Uh, the main difference is that his frame data is not as good, but he has like much better range, which kind of helps quite a lot. Um, and his frame data is still fast, so it's not like he can't catch you off guard if you're not ready for his, like, burst ranges and all that stuff. So it's like you need to play back. You need to know how to control him in the air with, like, can fairly well. Um, and the other thing, too, is baiting out Rebels Guard. Uh, some Joker players, like, th if, they're if they're really good with the Rebels Guard, they'll know, like, the exact times to, like, press it to absorb the can hit. And when they display that awareness, you need to make sure you bait it out by dropping can short, and then you, like, go in and punish them with, like, your own aerial. Uh, but of course, he could hold it down longer and mind game you. So if you do hit him with an aerial, then you get punished for it. So like really, it's like a parry mind game if he's doing Rebels Guard in the air. If he's on the ground, it's a little bit more straightforward since you can grab him there. Um, but that's always something to keep in mind. Uh, but then, of course, when he gets like uh, our send, then it becomes a traditional counter. So that's much easier to just kind of play around since it's just he does it. There's a cooldown, and you just have to know how to bait that out. Um, then other than that... Uh, yeah, overall, you're still going to be able to control him more in the neutral that he's going to be able to kill you. Uh, but, like, his burst range is really good. So, uh, effectively, the amount of, like, if he's, like, halfway across and, like, you're at the edge here, like, you basically might be able to throw out one thing. But if he guesses right, he probably might be able to sort of punish you. Uh, but you might be able to get an air dodge before he gets to you. But more likely than not, if you're at death percent, if you're half stage across, consider that burst range, and you should play to hit him before you set up. But like if you're both at 0%, if he's half stage, then you don't really have to worry about dying at that point. Um, and most of the time, you should only be super worried about dying if he has Arsene. Otherwise, they'll probably know their setups to like lead into kills with platforms and like the fair one dragged down to down smash and stuff like that. Uh, but he's not going to kill you too much later unless he's got our set. So let's see what happens. About the Arsene in the room. I mean, the good thing about Duck Hunt is he does so much damage that, like, Arsene isn't too much of an issue if you know the openings against uh, Joker. So that's kind of the main thing that you're looking for. Oh, there's no music. Okay, so we're going to go back to playing this. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, when it, whenever he's, like, kind of just drifting back and forth, that's when you can start a setup. So, like, over here, probably recommend at least, like, tossing out a can, but let's see what he does with the gunman. Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, he set up the approach with the gunman there, but he didn't take advantage of that. He kind of just retreated. Yeah, see, that was good awareness there of, like, um, just grabbing the rebel's card. See, okay, so this is a that, that's a that's a good example to look at right here. So, whenever you see like a Joker on the platform and you have your can coming down, assume in a lot of positions that if they have Rebels Guard, that they're gonna probably Rebels Guard. Like the Joker will show their hand if they want to do this, and you want to have the can land here, like right in front of him. So either you can just jump and grab him, or you can just wait right under him, and the second he lets go, you can just hit him. Ken's going to be a little bit too slow to hit him off of Rebel's card, so you're going to have to rely on the dodge for that. Yeah, 
That was a good recovery right there. Because, like, it made it really hard for him to, like, actively challenge him. So, yeah, like, right there, if he did the second Clay Pigeon, then he would have done it the bear. And he probably would have died and, or, if not, lost our set. He would have done too much damage. See, like, that's too bad there. If he knew that the gunman was going to shoot it, he would have been able to get that grab pretty easily. Yeah, dash attack's pretty good. Oh, that's too bad. Like, right there, he could have, like, up smash or down smashed. Let me, let me check to see exactly how safe that is. Up smash for sure should have connected. Yeah, up smash is negative 30 on shield, so he could drop shield and down smash, and he would have been dead. Bad awareness there. Okay, so that was the most pointless sequence I've ever seen. <laughs> um, basically, you gave up all ledge pressure there. And you really need to make sure you're pressuring ledge. So like here, down tilt the can so it ends up over here. So that, that way you can do a ledge trap. This is giving your opponent way too much respect. But at least you hit him. He's dead. Again, don't gun in right next to your opponent. Especially if they're invincible. You just need to focus on staying alive. And something to remember is, like, at this percentage, he can't throw he can't throw you and kill you. So you just kinda hold shield. Also, at these lower percents, do fair always, because like off of like clay pigeon, landing fair will always guarantee another fair or a grab. These are that percent. That reverse gunman still wouldn't have done anything either. Like, that was, like, even if you did that gunman, it still wouldn't help the pressure that you would have set for the, the ledge at all. So, like, that's an important thing there. That was super bad. Um, if you landed behind him, Joker actually wouldn't realistically have an option to, like, punish you hard. Like, he could drop shield and, like, jab maybe or drop shield F-tilt, but that's really about it. Yeah, that clay pigeon was just really bad. Uh, so something I'll just briefly mention here is that if you let your can fall down right on top of, like, right on this gun bin, the second that he would try to go for that up air, this would just blow, this would just blow you both up, and you might actually be in a position to, like, double jump and up air him and kill him. So always remember that your gunman could double a shield cans as well. Dude, it's time to ban. Okay, cool. <laughs> Again, that was so wasteful. All you had to do was jump back air and then throw the can here, and then you'd be in position to just, like, cover the roll there. But yeah, effectively, you covered nothing by doing that. See, like, that might have looked cool, but again, you could have done a second clay pigeon to kill him. Or honestly, even the up air might have killed him from there. Again, this is just, like, ineffective at, like, ledge guarding. Like, you're not setting any ledge trap up at all. And, like, you know, ledge trapping is, like, Duck Hunt's, like, one of his best qualities, too. Like, you need to make sure you're doing this. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's not too much you can do about that. Just don't fall for that. <laughs> That's all I can really say. Again, you're not setting up a ledge trap here. A gunman is not a ledge trap. And you're also not trying to hold center too. Like you're just trying to, like if jo if Joker's over here, you don't try to hit him over here. You wait for him, you try to hit him when he's gonna, because you know he's gonna like jump in this area. Cause if you try to hit him where he is at the moment, you're already too late. Yeah, see, like, now you're just trying to be too fancy, and, like, you're just kind of missing, like, a lot of easy opens. Just, like, calm down and think about how, like, you're just gonna wait for the opening and punish him for doing it. Like, see, like, you try to go for a ledge trump bear. This guy's at 188. You can grab him, pummel him a couple of times, and up throw him and kill him. Or you can just hit him with F-Tilt, and he's going to die. Or just, like, any move that's decently strong. You don't have to make this complicated. It just, it's just gonna mess you up a lot more. At least you got that. Okay, good that you had your jump. Oh, what was that? So off of off of that, like after that up air, you get a second up air guaranteed. He can't he can't break out of that. Like that's like forty five percent guaranteed after that. Uh, after you do that up tilt. Again, don't use gunman. This is the worst for ledge trapping. Use can. Please watch the ledge trapping guide. Never. Never use gunman here. It's it's ultimately useless. This this just wastes your time and wastes gunman as a resource to use later. You always want to use can as your ledge trap setup, unless you're specifically going for the clay pigeon ones. But that takes a lot that takes a lot more time. Just always set up can. Because can being here will cover jump and standard getup, and it makes it a lot easier to punish like getup attack too. Okay, and then you ran out there. But like, think about that. What did that gunman do for you? That that lads literally nothing to your overall ledge trap there. He can literally see that like, okay, I'm just gonna wait. And then once he shoots, then I can go. Like that, this is bad. This is bad. And that's also a Hail Mary. Like luckily for you, you decided to drop down and jump. And that's much pretty good for catching that. But for the most part, if he jumped over as you did that, he would have been able to down air you and like back air and then just get the ledge guard on you. Or he would have been able to do like down air up smash that might have been able to kill you. So like that was super, super risky. I mean, overall, you know, good stuff for taking the game, but like a lot of glaring issues. You have like, I don't know if you got a single ledge trap. <laughs> like you just, you were just able to miraculously hit him on that last one. Yeah, I mean, you have to think about what Gunman is. When it goes there, it has a set timer, and it announces when it's going to shoot. It doesn't really add any pressure to somebody on ledge. When you throw can there, if they wait, you can press B and you can still hit them. So, like, that's the reason why can adds pressure, and not only that, it covers a lot of options. Gunman doesn't really do that, because, like, if you do standard get up when they shoot, then okay, then your invincibility goes through that. Uh, but maybe it might have covered get up attack. But like if you did jump jump from ledge, then you would have been able to avoid that either. So it's like gunman is so niche. It has RNG added to it and it just doesn't really do much. Like the only reason why you would set up a gunman here is like if you were fighting a like a Wii Fit trainer where they like to ledge camp a lot and they're going to use like sun salutations or the soccer ball. Like if you need to block projectiles from ledge, then you set up gunman. But like to actually trap and kill your opponent, it does nothing. Like it's it's literally useless. It wastes a resource, and it just it might even mess up your can setups too. Because if you have can there and you have gunman there, the gunman's going to shoot the can most of the time. So, yeah, nothing not a good thing to do. Uh, do you have any other questions though, Junior? Huh. Also, once again, really quickly, guys. We do have a sub goal at the moment. If we are able to get uh, seven more new subs, 
Uh, so yeah, the reason why it didn't go up when uh, Bear did the sub is because he is a recurring sub. So, fortunately for the thing to go up, it has to be a new one. Um, I will add, we will be able to add a new emote slot. And it's going to be one that's been long overdue to have an emote slot. So, <laughs> no, look forward to that. Yeah, like, um, oh wait, patch salts. Yeah, I think you and New Gen both have the same issue of you want to use all your projectiles, if I remember correctly. And you need to remember, like, using all your projectiles is not good in a lot of situations. Like, you need to use, like, one or the other, or, like, two in conjunction for a specific one. No, not Duck Rage, no. That one I'd have to get permission to use. I, I didn't make that one. Alright, yeah, I think I'll stop the recording for now.